In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving definite integration or definite integrals. In order to go into this video, you understand the basis of definite integration, how to solve problems on it as we look at a couple of examples on definite integration. So stay with me to the very end of, end of this video because we're going to learn a lot. So having known that, let's go into the details of the video. Let's begin with this example. We are giving this definite integral function. The upper limit is 3, the lower limit is 1, x to the power of 4 dx. So how do you solve this problem? Solution. So the first thing you have to do is first of all find the indefinite integral of x to the power of 4. The way you can have x to the power of 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1. So whatever you do here, you bring it down as a denominator. So when you simplify this, then we're going to have x to the power of 5 over 5. Okay, so once you have done this, you then plug in this upper limit and lower limit in this value of x respectively. That means you have to subtract the lower limits from the upper limits. So this is what it means. So we begin with 3. When you plug in 3 in this s, you then have 3 to the power of 5 over 5. Okay. Minus plugging one in the x, you then have one to the power of five to the five. So when you simplify this, two to the power of five gives us two, four, three over five. Okay, minus one to the power of five gives us one over five. So you do the basic mass, you then have five, okay, two, four, three minus one. So we have two, four, two over five. Okay, so let me punch this with my calculator. Okay, so we're have 48.4. So this, will be, this will be your final answer. Okay, so let's have one more example on definite integral. We are giving this definite integral here pi at the upper limit and zero at the lower limit. And we have in bracket x okay square plus 2 x okay minus sine x bracket close dx so the, the first thing you have to do is to find indefinite integral of these values so when you look for it you are going to when you integrate x square you're going to have x to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 okay plus 2x, the power of x here is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Okay. When you integrate minus sign x, then you have plus cos x. So once you have done this, this upper limit and the lower limit, you put them. Okay, before you do that, let's simplify this the more. Let's simplify the more. Then you have x to the power 3 over 3 plus. 2x to the power 2 over 2 okay plus cos x so you then plug in the pi and 0 and these values of x respectively so when you do it you are going to have let me subtract the lower limit 0 from the upper limit pi so let's begin with so it will go like this like we did the first example so we're going to have pi to the power of 3 and plug in pi in that x over 3. Okay, plus we have 2 pi to the power of 2 over 2 plus cos. When you plug in pi in that area, and you're going to have cos pi, okay, minus. So we're going to have result to the power of 3. Over 3 plug in 0 in that x plus 2 0 to the power 2 okay over 2 then we have plus cos 0 then put this in brackets okay so once you have done this you simplify the more so when you simplify this the more we're going to have pi to the power 3 over 3 plus pi 
square because this two will cancel this two here. Okay, we have plus cos pi minus zero plus zero. Okay, plus cos zero. So everything here will give you zero when you do the mass. Okay, so let me clean this up and complete this problem. So we're going to have pi the power of three over three okay plus pi square. Okay, when you know import cos pi with my calculator here. So the cos pi give us negative one. Okay, what of cos zero minus because of this minus here, so cos zero give me one. But the way you simplify this, you're going to have pi to the power 3 over 3, okay, plus pi square minus 1 minus 1 minus, minus 2. So let me punch this with my calculator and get the final answer. Okay, so when you punch it, you're going to have 18.20 as a final answer. So, guys, this is basically how you can solve problems involving definite integration, definite integral. And with this, I'll come to the end of the class. I hope you learned something interesting. If you are new to the channel, you should hit the subscribe button not to subscribe to the channel for more videos. So, like, share, comment on this video. Tell me how you figure what you have learned. If you seem to have any specific questions, I'll feel free to the question in the comment section below. And I'll show you the response. Thanks for watching.